I know, uh, but did you have a child when you're on your own, or were you married by this point? No, I was married when to I an Albanian or Canadian. Yes, Albanian. Like we. Uh, and you both went to Canada we together. We both left there, yeah, right. jointly. So yes, at that time when I had my two kids, I was married, and I got divorced when I came back to Kosovo. Isn't that weird? <laughs> so after a year that no. I come back in Kosovo, I we got divorced. Oh. Why? Why is it? Do you think? Because I was oh, doing it's some such reading. I mean, it's such a complex thing. No, I, I mean more general now, because as you know, this is an educational program. Mm. Don't know if you know, but <laughs> comes up the channel. Education, uh, live from Benitza Park. That's why we have all these scientists in the room. And stuff. <laughs> but I was doing some reading about um, relationships and marriages, mm -hmm. you know, and I noticed that the increase in divorce rate between 20 and 30 year olds now is, is huge. And you know, hey, I've made some notes. I don't often do things very <laughs> organized, but I've got them here. Look at this, okay. listen to this. Britney Spears and Jarrow Alexandra, how long did their marriage last? Anybody know? Six months, maybe? 55 hours. It takes longer than that. 55 hours. It takes longer did than they that got married in Las wedding. Did they get married in Las Vegas? Yeah. Drunk? Yeah, Okay. probably. Drunk and drugged, yeah, well, for sure, 55 yeah. hours, right? Okay. Then we got Nicolas Cage and Erica Koik, not Coke. Quick, Erica, quick, four days. Four days, yeah. okay. They and try. then we got Eddie Murphy and Tracy Emmons. You know Eddie Murphy? Yeah. yeah. Four days. Okay, they try. Nothing. But this is quite normal now. So. And it should. But the, uh, you were of that age, probably. You got divorced through that age. So if you have to give it in a quick snapshot, what went wrong, do you think? Did you get bored of him? Did you get sick of the sight of him? <laughs> bored of his sex? What? I just think That's that I, happens, I just think that I was growing in a differently, and we just didn't kind of match with the ideas of, of how we see life. And but how many people genuinely do that? Grow together? Um, I think most people do this. Actually, yeah, nowadays and then it's that sometimes really they quick. just come like this. So I don't think that we should just take it so end of the world if people they broke up or they get the married right. and they don't get they get divorced um, the most important thing is that if they have kids is not to get stuck in like hating each other and arguing and fighting and all this kind of <laughs> that happens between them because it's kids who suffer yeah. that's the most important part otherwise like uh, and not everyone it's uh, meant for a marriage and some people they find out <laughs> they find out later. I found out immediately. And some people they just like to, you know, do something different because it is a sacrifice. Look, the marriage it is a sacrifice.